What's up, Rare Moment fam? Happy Friday. Welcome back to the show. I'm AG. This is Cole. We are the Rare Moment. Today, some big news recently released from Top Shot, which is these big time VIP all star passes going to be auctioned and also raffled off in a giveaway. We're going to kind of get in some details about that if you haven't heard about it. So before we get into this video here today, I want you guys to just smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter at The Rare Moment. When you're on the go, find us on Spotify. Comment section down below. Let us know your thoughts on all of these, all of these giveaways, all these auctions, down to have some discussions. Also, head over to Twitter real quick if you haven't heard. We're doing a live floor sweep on Sunday. Cole and I are going to be sitting around taking some shots, sweeping some floors of a, a retirement player voted by the fans. So head over to Twitter real quick. We're going to be giving away a bunch of moments, giving away a Draymond Green moment on Twitter, giving away moments during the live stream. So go ahead, head over to our Twitter and see what you guys got to do to get involved in that. With that being said, before we really get into this whole VIP thing, speaking of all-star games, we're going to want to head over to Evaluate Market and kind of look at the rising star set we didn't get into that drop yesterday. We told you guys this week, we're going to sit it out. We we held true to our word. No standard packs, no elite packs, nothing. So Cole, I'm going to pass it over to you. What is that floor and that set looking like? Yeah, so the floor right now, we're looking at 354 They don't have it right here, but just did a quick calculation based on the prices that they're showing here. So we got some new guys, some pretty big names too, like Josh Giddy, uh, Jalen Suggs, uh, Chris Duarte, Anthony Edwards, Desmond Bain, Jay Sean Tate. So just a few of those names. And yeah, the the moments are going for roughly the same as yeah. the first wave. So I think we made the smart decision because knowing us, even if we had pulled one of these, yeah. well, I guess more so in an elite than a standard with the standard you're making your money back if not making profit so and that's what elite, we know it's more risky and that's what we realized you know you guys heard the rant i went i'm not going to go on another rant here today but i just realized real quick you know and, and 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 i blamed some of the marketplace and that was a little unfair to me to put it all on all on the people it's actually you know it's partly top shots fault as well mainly because they're giving, they're making people pay forty nine dollars for an elite pack to be guaranteed these moments. Then they're also letting people pay nineteen dollars to get in these standard packs, who are instantly going to be valuing the moments at the price they got. So, unfortunately, if you got into the elite pack and you didn't pull a rare, you had an eighty nine percent chance of basically losing money. And here you go. So that's why yeah. we didn't get into it. What they should have done with these packs is just make one price like $49 for each pack and then just kind of do what they do for rare legendary drops maybe have a priority queue and a general queue yeah exactly makes a lot more sense all right moving on from all of that because we're putting that behind us let's get to the exciting stuff this is freaking if you haven't heard about this holy smokes yeah, top this, shot is doing something freaking amazing right now yeah this is this is pretty nutty here so the NBA and NBA Top Shot are partnering up to create groundbreaking one-of-one one NFTs for each of the league's 30 teams. Designed for the ultimate fan, these NFTs provide the owners with unprecedented VIP access to the next five NBA All-Stars starting in 2023. So what exactly does that mean? So if you, so all of these NFTs, these one-of-ones for each team are going to be auctioned off, which we'll get to in a second. What each VIP pass NFT includes is all of this stuff. Ooh, boy. So includes, and this is all for the next five years. So includes two lower bowl tickets to NBA All-Star Game, Clorox Rising Stars Game, All-Star Practice Celebrity Game, two lower bowl tickets to the Slam Dunk Contest, the three-point contest, and the Taco Bell Skills Challenge. You Shout get... out Taco Bell. We're waiting for that sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. Uh, <laughs> the... the you get uh, meet and greets to shoot around with NBA legend on official all-star court exclusive invite to an NBA reception, a little behind the scenes. You get a tour of the host arena with an NBA executive Wow! inside access to all-star planning, personalized all-star itinerary with VIP support. Amazing on court photos. You get an on court photo on official NBA all-star game court 
and exclusive NBA merch. So VIP merchandise, NBA All-Star jersey. Also, too, of note, each VIP pass is worth 25,000 NBA Top Shot collector score points. And so, besides getting one of these via auction, which they are very pricey, and we'll get to that in a second, you can, uh, they're having some sort of a raffle, right? Is that correct? Yeah. So, for, for these, for what it sounds like to me is that. There's going to be 30 auctions for 30 teams, and then there's mm-hmm. going to be one lucky winner via giveaway of okay. what you guys just saw today. So you go and you enter your email, and then there's extra additional entries, which Cole's getting to right now. Yeah, so if you scroll down here on this page, you can see this get extra entries. So looks like t- so we're recording this on Thursday, so yesterday by the time this video is out. Uh, so last night's game during Philly, Milwaukee, looks like on TNT, they're going to have a QR code for each of these different games. Yeah. And so I guess just stay tuned for each of these four coming games or that game plus the Rising Stars game, the All-Star practice and the All-Star game and watch out for that QR, QR code and go ahead and scan that and looks like you can get some extra entries that way. Yeah. And then also you can earn five more entries uh, by purchasing a pack or purchasing moments on the marketplace. Yeah, and and that goes for any moments. You can go buy Series 3 moments at $2 a pop. And get well, it looks like collect moments of all-star players in the Top Shot marketplace. So probably just has to be all-star players. But it, well, That's what I'm saying. It, all-star players, but it can be Series 3. Like If oh, okay, that, all, gotcha, if gotcha. that all-star player has Series 3 moments, you can be buying moments at $2 a pop gotcha. as long as it's an all-star player, which... I've already done. I went and bought a Draymond Green moment for two dollars. He's in the all right. That guy's guy's in the All Star game technically. So yeah. So moving on over. So if you go to this page here, own an NBA All Star VIP Pass NFT. So they have all of these. Like we stated, each team is going to have a one of one VIP pass. Each one is going to be auctioned on a different day. So you can yeah. see the Lakers is first up on deck. February 23rd, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then you got the Clippers on the 24th, Warriors on the 25th, so Suns forth, on the 26th, so, so and forth so on and, and so yeah. forth. So you can see if you scroll down all the way here. So it looks like starting on February 23rd for the next 30 days, they're going to each individual day is going to have one of these auctioned off. And these are pricey, like we mentioned. These are not cheap, right? as they shouldn't be because – these are very, very nice packages that you're getting here right. with all of those, that merchandise and everything and the tickets. Each one, we kind of just clicked on a few. Clippers going for 10000 Kings going for 10000 So there you go. it looks like all of these are going to be starting at $10,000 as a starting bid. So yep. very, very pricey. But if you get one of these, be pretty badass to have, no doubt about it. Yeah. So... AG, I know you got some thoughts on this. I will yeah. kind of just hand the floor over to you for, for a minute or two. Yeah. I mean, first off, this is amazing by Top Shot to be giving these, giving us, all of our us collectors, a chance at winning an amazing experience like this worth tens of thousands of dollars. And, you know, I mean, I, I don't know if they're covering flights, hotels. It doesn't say anything about that, but... You're getting all these tickets. You're getting all these merchandise. I mean, you're potentially shooting around on the court with legends. I mean, who knows? You could be you could be shooting bank shots out there with Tim Duncan for all we know. Yeah. I mean, who knows? I mean, Charles Oakley could be out there shooting softies for all you Knicks fans, right? I know Jacob would love that. I you mean, could be shooting free throws with Lance Stevenson. We don't right. know. Yeah. I mean, LeBron can't hit any, but, you know, <laughs> anyways. Just a little shot at LeBron there. Um, anyways... <laughs> This is amazing. I mean, this is exactly what Top Shot has said they're going to do. They're they're creating utility for their platform. They they did this last year by giving away tickets to playoff games and NBA championships and it's awesome to see this to doing this now. But that being said, you know, the con to all of this in my personal opinion, I'm a little disappointed that they're catering to the rich and starting these auctions at $10,000. And that's just the starting point. You know what I mean? We're talking about people probably ended up paying 50, 60, potentially $100,000, depending how big these guys' bags is to dip in 
for these NFTs. And we don't know if there's going to be a marketplace or not. We don't know if these are going to be resellable. I'm assuming it could be resold to other collectors. So who knows? Maybe these things could get up to $300,000 a piece. Who knows what they get up to? It's just a little disappointing to me because it kind of seems like a little marketing kind of money ploy for Top Shot. Like, they, like they're hurting for money and they need more of it. And they get collect enough off of us collectors every freaking day. What they should have done, not, and I'm sorry I'm taking up so much time because I want to get your thoughts too. But what they should have done is reward the series owners. Reward the set owners here. I mean, for God's sakes, it would have been so hard to reward the the poor Sacramento King set holders out there. When <laughs> whenever when is the Sacramento King set holders ever going to get rewarded out here for holding right. a uh, holding a king set? Who knows when they're going to make the playoffs? Who knows they're going to make a championship? Are we just going to never reward those guys? To me it should have been, hey, if you hold a series 1 or series 2 set, you're automatically going to be entered in to that team's NFT VIP auction. Our, our giveaway and we're gonna you get a chance to win it you know so that's just my thought i love what top shots you know i pass it over to you colt how are you feeling about all this yeah well i agree with everything that you just said and to your point about doing that sort of giveaway for the set holders for each series maybe that's a little like i, I love that idea and we're both on board with that but like i guess taking or playing devil's advocate right. that could be you know, just not financially doable <laughs> yeah, because I mean, course. if these are truly ten thousand dollar packages and they're giving away thirty of them, that's obviously a lot of money that they're giving right. away for nothing. But yeah, I would like to see some sort of way where they can implement these, just some way to reward these set holders yeah. for these type of things. Because, like you said, like in if we're not rewarding team set holders for this kind of thing, again, maybe this is to too expensive of an example maybe some other time down the road we can reward those guys but at what other point are we going to reward right. collectors that are holding team sets like they've been preaching that they're going to reward collectors that hold team sets and we just haven't really seen too much of that yeah if anything especially recently and i have all the trust in the world honestly in yeah, their team to provide that utility at some point in the future and I'm sure we'll see more tickets being give away, given away during the playoffs, during the finals this year, maybe during summer league too, right. maybe to the NBA draft. Right. I mean, they did it last year. Why wouldn't right. they do it again this year? Of so, course. Yeah, it's just a little disappointing that each one is going to start at ten thousand dollars. So catering, catering to the rich a little bit. Yeah. All all the all the big boys out there with their with their bags filled up who got over ten k to spend are. This is for you. Yeah, looking good here, but yeah. you know, overall though, even though we're not going to be able to afford these, this is still really badass. This is yeah. super oh, cool that hell they're yeah. doing. Oh hell so, yeah! So, of course, a little upset not being able to you know play into it, other than that random than raffle giveaway. giveaway, right? So which we we're in, have which we get into. Of, right. Yeah, we have some sort of shot at it, but regardless, even if I don't get one, this is still really cool. Yeah, we love it. You know, wrapping it up here. This is good. You know. Great on you, Top Shot, for, for doing something like this. This is amazing. The next five years, that's freaking awesome. There will be one lucky winner who gets this for free, and that's awesome. So go over to Top Shot, see what you guys got to do to get entered into this. You know, it's just as easy as entering your email and then, you know, buying some cheap moments of all star players. Get yourself some more entries. Tune into the all star game. Tune into the games coming up the next few days. See what you guys got to do. And uh, go have some fun with it, man. I mean, this this is awesome. I just feel bad for, you know, the, the Pelican team set owners who just kind of get in the shaft because, you know, give those guys some tickets at least for, for regular season games. Do something for these guys. But yeah. nonetheless. Poor guy is waiting for Zion to put down the donuts <laughs> and he's just not doing it. Yeah. Uh, but this is awesome. So comment section down below. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know if you're going to be just just going all in here and just stacking up series three moments, these $2 moments to get more entries into it. I mean, it seems like five entries for every moment you buy on the site, which is pretty cool to me. So, Or this maybe is, it's up to five. Yeah, I, that part I'm a little unclear. Yeah, on. we'll see. Hey, this is, this is fun for me though. And I love Top Shots doing this, you know, let us know what you guys think. Hey, live stream coming up. We're excited about it. Go check it out on Twitter. See what you got to do to get yourself involved in that. Also, check out tomorrow's video. We got a NFL All Day Pack opening and oh pretty boy. juicy pool. You're gonna oh want to see it. Oh 
boy, it was spicy. Still fired up about it. Absolutely. Hey, guys, enjoy your weekend out here. Enjoy your Friday night. Be safe. We will see you guys with some more content coming up soon. Good luck collecting out there, everybody. We'll see you soon. Peace.